Do you have a small live edge slab? Or maybe one of those trending diagonally cut wood cookies? And you wonder what you should do with the bark. In today's video, I want to show you the process of removing the bark from the natural edge wood. We'll also talk a little bit about why you might want to do this. At the end of the video, I'll give you a sneak peek at some ideas I have for what you might be able to do with those bark pieces too. And it's a great way to make a little extra money. So let's talk about tools. I like to use a chisel for wood slices. Here is a really nice wood handle chisel. I don't recommend you using this. It's really overkill and it's a good way to ruin an expensive hand tool. Instead, use an older, beat up, or just an inexpensive pair that you get from your local hardware store. You'll also be needing a mallet if you're gonna be using the chisel method. The second technique is using a draw knife. This is an interesting hand tool that's been around for hundreds of years. It's used to shape and shave wood. I typically use this for larger slabs. You might also want some type of a clamp. I like these parallel wood hand screw clamps. Today I'm gonna to be concentrating on the wood slices for a future project. However, I did just want to touch on the draw knife. It's really great when you have the larger slabs or even logs. The blade is beveled and very sharp. Using two hands will give you a lot of control. We'll go deeper into this subject in another video though. I have a project coming up that I'll be using this diagonally cut walnut slice. I'm finding them a lot more often at my favorite lumber mill. These are great for serving trays, charcuterie boards, or even cribbage boards. As much as I like the looks of this with the bark on, it really can cause a lot of problems in the long run. The area between the outer bark and the wood is called the cambium. This is soft, it rots easily, and it's the favorite food for a lot of insects. We're going to use our chisel and mallet today. You could put this in a vise, but I'm just going to clamp it on my work table. You want to put the chisel in the soft cambium as close to the sapwood as possible with the flat side down. Then gently tap with your mallet. Be sure to save all the bark pieces. There's a lot of projects that you can use these pieces for and make a good amount of money on the side. The cambion has a lot of fibers. You'll want to remove as much of this as you can. Once most of the bark is off, you can just shave off all these loose pieces. Now head to the sanding table. You'll want to clean the edges and remove the stringy fibers. 
I'm using 220 grit. Now you can sand this all the way down to that sap wood. However, for my project, I wanna have some character on the sides. So I'm gonna be leaving very thin layers in some areas. And this is what the rough piece looks like now. I've saved all those bark pieces. There's so much you can do with them. You can cut out some shapes from scrap Baltic birch plywood to create ornaments or magnets. I'll do pendants with hardwood and epoxy, or even make wall art pieces. All of these will fly off the shelves in the holiday season. I've got about 12 usable pieces of bark from this one slice of wood, and I'll make ornaments that will sell for an average of $10 each. That's $120 extra dollars on top of what I'm making from the wood itself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment below with your ideas to make using the bark. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.